Hey, this is Kim Churchill and you're watching the AU Review. Hey, we're backstage here at Falls Festival in Lawn and joining me right now is Kim Churchill. Hey. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Um, welcome back to Falls. How does it feel to be back playing? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. It's one of my like favourite festival experiences ever. Yeah. There's a reason for that. Yeah, I was just saying to you before, your set was genuinely like freaking awesome. So good. And we we're saying you look like you're having the time of your life. Yeah. How was it being up there? Because last time you played, you were up in the in the tent, weren't yes. you? Yeah. yeah. How was it in the on the stage? Yeah, it was. It's it's amazing to have such a cross section of different moods. Yeah. Because you've kind of got the bunch of people down the front that are going nuts. Yeah, and yeah. People at the back that are hungover and sitting there having a coffee. And Season in. Like, yeah. And yeah. You know, so it's it's it was, it was really incredible. You know. Yeah. It's, it's nice to just look around, and see all the different atmospheres and all the different. Um, Kind of people and wherever they were at. Yeah, and for sure. Kind of trying to bring it all together into one thing. Did you have expectation for how the album would be received here? I suppose, or did you just not think of it as much because you were, you know, just yeah. sitting around? I used to get expectations about how things that I would make would be received. Yep. But the most liberating thing about this whole album cycle has been that there's been no. I've, I've dropped all expectations of, of myself, yeah. of the audience, of everybody involved, and I just allowed it to be what it would be. Yeah. And, and um, you know, I'm just blown away with what it is. It's, yeah. It's it was interesting to hear you say um, in between songs, because you did say starting out in music, you were very ambitious and, you know, you had a clear idea, like you were um, after this happiness and um, success. What was your idea of success and has it changed over time for you? Yeah, yeah. I, I think now success is more or less just being comfortable in my own skin. Yeah. You know, like enjoying every second of every moment. And, and that's about, and whatever else happens is kind of periphery, you know. It's, yeah. It's, and it's, I, I really enjoy still chasing the exact same goals that I am because I enjoy that. Yeah. Not because I have some kind of investment in, in achieving those goals. Yeah. And, and I think that's my idea of success is just sort of surrendering to that yeah awesome so yeah your live show is insane do you know you remind me of um you're like the modern day bert from mary poppins oh yeah and he's like <laughs> i was saying that before you, how do, how do you Dyke. yeah how do you do that like how long did it take you to kind of master everything i can't even lay down like a solid drum beat <laughs> you know and that's all i'm doing actually i have really issues with timing yeah <laughs> um but it just I think like once upon a time I was doing a sort of one man band thing that was similar to others. Right. Um, and I thought about stopping and getting a band or something because I started to feel like I was being a bit, um, what's the word, um, like other people. Right. Um, derivative. And then I decided, no, like this is what I've always done. I'm committed to it. Yeah. And I'm going to look for ways to push it into my own kind of zone, my own place. Yeah. And so that's sort of what I began trying to do. and, and, that, and I don't, I'm not quite there, I don't feel, but the show's definitely getting to a stage now where, um, yeah, I, 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 that's kind of how it happened. Yeah. <laughs> do you have plans to, like, throw anything else into it? Because, I mean, you've, yeah, you know, you've already do. got a lot going on. There's a foot organ that I really like. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's made by Taurus. Um, John Paul Jones from Led Zeppelin used to use it. Right. He's cool cover, by the way. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, Zeppelin. <laughs> a bit of Zeppelin. <laughs> yeah, so you've got plans to kind of get this little pedal in? Well, I don't know. They're, they're sort of dreams, you know. Like, I'd like to have a piano as well and sort of Jesus do Jesus Christ. Do some, you need, yeah. like, another leg and three other arms. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching that stage where it's like... I should probably just get a band. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you would? Yeah, eventually? I will eventually. Yeah. yeah. When I feel like I've just... When I, when I feel like there's as much of that one-man band thing... You know, when I can't go any further with it. Because yeah. then it would become a bit monotonous. Yeah, and you know, to not be growing with it. Yeah. Um, but I would still always do it in the live performance in elements. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um, let's talk about travel because you are always everywhere. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> recently in New Caledonia, was that just a holiday, or have you been there before? Um, it was for shows. Okay. It was more or less a holiday. A beautiful place. Yeah. 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 That was kind of like, it's awesome because they're so lovely there. They they really. Um, go well out of their way to make you feel incredible and to make to make you understand how much they appreciate that you came. Yeah. And you're kind of like, it's French Polynesian Island. Right. <laughs> I was, I was gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? And so it's, yeah, it was just, it's beautiful, you know, we went out and sort of discovered these little islands and, 
and the shows are great. Like, yeah, really get into their live music over there. So, yeah, yeah, that was a nice trip, holiday work thing. Yeah, it looked really nice. Is there somewhere you, because you've kind of covered like all corners of the globe, where do you want to go that you haven't been before? I'd like to travel more around South America. Okay. I've done a, I've done a little bits and pieces. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think a lot of the travel I do is it's an interesting way of traveling when you're playing music because you see a lot of hotel rooms and a lot of um, highways and a lot <laughs> yeah. of science. Um, yeah, like a lot of stages and and you meet a lot of incredible people and that's the great thing is because the people are always there. You're yeah. with them every night. Um, but but at one stage or another, I'd like to perhaps go with more of the like laid back kind of attitude of you know, I'll leave this place when I feel like it. Yeah. Rather than no at rush. 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah, <laughs> on the next flight, for yeah. sure. So looking ahead for 2015, you're starting off the year doing um, a few shows. You're hitting at, I li- well, I'm from Ballarat, but you're playing at Corova, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So what's it like for you? Because your sound, obviously, starting out busking and stuff, um, so well suited to a large space, open um, setting, uh, kind of bringing that down to a smaller scale, like some, you know, somewhere like Corova, which is a bit more intimate. Is that hard? Um, well, when I was, I mean, I've been going touring now for about five, five years, four years since I finished high school, basically. Yeah. And there's been every kind of venue, every kind of room. And I used to actually find it very daunting to think of playing something like that stage. Yeah. Because, um, th- you know, because what I was used to was the sticky little pubs. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> nice little sticky pubs where everybody's jammed in, sweating yeah. and carrying on. And um, so, no, I, I really like those kind of gigs. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's good to see that you're still doing them, for sure. Um, Kim, thank you very much for joining me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks for having me.